Happy Saturday. How you doing, huh? Hey, we're to the end of the week already. Can you believe that? We have been talking about the total money makeover. The total money makeover. I'm not sure if we're done with this or we're going to keep going on it next week or not. We'll see. But there's so much there. So much there. God wants you to live in abundance. He wants you to live in health. And believe me, he takes pleasure in the abundance of his people. Say this with me. The rest of my life is the best of my life. The best of my life is the rest of my life. Everything I touch turns to gold. I am smart, getting smarter every day. I am extremely talented. Great things are coming my way. Everything always works out for me. I am a wonderful person. I'm a beautiful person. Pastor Jim is a wonderful pastor. Pastor Jim is the ultimate pastor. When you pardon, partner with this ministry, you are partnering with the ultimate pastor. The pastor who gets results. Gets results. Who makes things happen for people. And I'll tell you how I do it. I do it through the power of the Holy Spirit with the wonderful name of Jesus and all to the glory of God. Hallelujah, huh? That's how we do things. <clears throat> and we get results. We get results. We're talking about, we're talking about the total money makeover. Make over your finances. Do your finances need to be made over? Do you have everything you need? Are you living in abundance? Some of you are. I know you are. I know you are. And I praise God for that. I want you to live in even more abundance. Even more abundance. Because the more you have, the more of a blessing you can be. God said to Abraham, he says, I will, may, I will bless you and make you to be a blessing. That's what God wants. We talked, we talked this week, we talked about the fact that God takes pleasure in your abundance. We talked about the blessing of the Lord, it makes rich, and he adds no sorrow to it. Well, today, I wanna to show you something. I wanna show you something in Deuteronomy chapter 11. God is getting the people ready to go into the promised land. And he says to them, <clears throat> he says that your days, in verse 21, you're going to read this right there. He says that your days may be multiplied and the days of your children in the land, which the Lord swore unto your fathers to give them as the days of heaven upon the earth. God wants you to have wonderful days. And like, just like you have in heaven, days of heaven. Now, that's not a misprint. That's not an exaggeration. That's how God wants his people to live. The same way people live in heaven. Call me today if you need your prayers answered. If you need to find something. If you're sick. If you know somebody who is. Call me. Let me speak the blessing over you today. If you did your offerings and your donations and your gifts and your tithe yesterday, call me so I can bless you. Or if you're doing them today, some people wait till Saturday. Whatever, I want to bless you. I want to speak God's word for word blessing over you. The blessing of the Lord. It makes rich. I wrote the book on it. This is absolute. Now, there's, there's books on the blessing. There's books out there, and some of them are good. They're very good. But none of them are that good. Because not only do I talk about the blessing, but I show you how to get it. See, I am all about results. God said he wanted people to, to have days of heaven upon the earth. I'll show you how to get it. I'll show you how to get it. God's word says he wants people healed. Well, he tells us in there how to do it. But most people don't see that. Most people don't know where to dig it out, where to find it, what verses to put together. 
but I do. Now, I don't know everything in the Bible, but I do know a little bit. I know a little bit about what it takes to live a healthy, abundant life, because that's what I concentrate on. Because that's, there's, there's people who know a lot more about the Bible than I do. But not too many of them know anything more about the blessing than I do. Or about getting healed than I do. Or about curses and demons than I do. Some of them think they do. Somebody, somebody called me and said that she had a deliverance ministry. And she talked to me for five minutes. And I realized she didn't know anything about it. She's doing deliverance out there and she has no idea what she's doing. And she's wondering why she's not getting results. Well, she doesn't understand how it works. But I do. I, do, I wrote the book on curses. I can break curses. I can, I can cast out these evil spirits. I get rid of them. Everything is on a spiritual basis. We want you to have a total money makeover. But people don't realize it all starts and ends in the spiritual. Now, Dave Ramsey has a wonderful book. Wonderful book on the total money makeover. You see his smiling face right there. Now, if you read the reviews on that book, they will tell you that it's long, wordy, you know, and basically just has three or four, actually has four main points in that book. Number one, save $1,000 in case you need money. Number two, pay off your debts from small to big. We'll talk about that. Number three, uh, don't buy anything on credit. And number four, save money for retirement. That is basically his four points in the book. And he takes 250 pages to explain that to you. I just explained it to you in 30 seconds. That's what you should do. And it doesn't take much longer to tell you how to do all that. You want to get out of debt? Pay off your smallest debt. Take all your debts and list them. How much do you owe on this? How much How much on your, this credit card, that credit card? How much on your house? Your house is going to be your biggest debt. So what you do is you pay off the smallest debt first. This is what he calls the snowball effect. It's a great way to pay off your debts. So you take your smallest credit card, your smallest bill, and you double up and double, triple on the, those payments. You get that paid off. Then you take the money that you pay on that one plus the money that you pay on the next one and you double up on the next highest bill. And the next, and the next, and the next until you get to the house, which is your largest bill. Or your car. If you live in an apartment, then maybe your car is your largest. And then once you get all the bills paid off and stop spending money you don't have on things you don't need, that's a big deal too. And then once you get all those paid off, then you take all that money that you were paying on all those bills and put it toward the biggest one and, and you'll get out of debt. Next thing you know, you'll be free of debt. But here's the kicker. If the spirit, if the curse of debt is still in your life, you will be back in debt. If the, the spirit of debt, that evil spirit that gets on people, and that doesn't mean you're possessed, but it means it is working in your life to keep you in debt. Something will come up that will cause you to be in debt. But once those spirits are broken, you won't get back in debt. We've been out of debt now for quite a while. The only thing we owe is a little bit on our house. And we actually have enough money in the bank we could pay off our house tomorrow. Praise God. Praise God for that, huh? We got a couple other things we're, we're doing instead, like our kitchen. We're redoing our kitchen. We had to. So, but we'll, we'll have our house paid off this year. We'll get the air. The airplane needs to be painted. We're going to paint the airplane. It's very expensive to paint an airplane. We'll get it taken care of. Everything works out for us. I say that all the time. We had a big disappointment last week. I said, it doesn't matter. Mary says, what are you going to do? I said, it doesn't matter. Everything works out for me. Huh? So I don't even think about it. 
because I know it'll work. I don't know how it's going to work out. I don't need to know, but God does. He's got it all figured out. I just go about my business knowing, knowing full well that everything is going to work out. Once you start speaking, everything is going to work out for me. You set everything in motion to cause it to work out for you. We don't just say that to be saying it, folks. We say that to set everything in motion. Because nothing happens unless you say something. And if you say everything will work out for me, the angels will go, whoa, let's make it work out. And they do. I'm telling you, it all starts in the spiritual. The, the total money makeover. Dave Ramsey is wonderful with, with all of his ideas and everything, but he leaves out the spiritual. He leaves out the fact that, that people are poor because of a curse of poverty. People are broke because there's a poverty spirit in their life. Once we break that curse of poverty and we cast out that spirit of poverty, things start to change. Things will start to change. Jesus said, it tells us in Galatians, actually Paul wrote this to the Galatians. He says, Christ has redeemed us from the curse of the law so the people can be blessed with the blessing of Abraham, the Gentiles. The Gentiles could not be blessed as long as the curse is in place. Well, Christ redeemed us from the curse, but it has gotten back in there. If you're sick, you're broke, you're struggling, I got news for you. The curse of the law is working in your life. Read Deuteronomy 28. Well, once we break that, that's the blessing blocker. Once the blessing comes in, it will make you rich. And he has no hard work or toil to it. That's what the Bible says. I believe God's word, word for word. And it works, it works, it works. Stick with me. Because I'm telling you what, the more of this you get in you, the more you're going to prosper. And the more you're going to live in abundance. I started filling myself with God's word on abundance years ago. And Mary, I kept telling Mary, I know I'm doing the right thing. I, I filled myself full of God's word. I said, I know this is the way to do it. I, she kept saying, when's it going to work? I said, I don't know. I don't know. But I do know it will. And sure enough, it did. It worked. Because you prosper your soul. Beloved, above all things, it is my wish that you prosper and be in health, even as your soul prospers <clears throat> at the same rate that your soul prospers. So I am prospering your soul and it will cause your bank account to increase. I am prospering your soul. It will cause your body to heal. That's what God's word says. That's what he says. And you know what? It works exactly the way he said. You stick with this. Stick with this. Total money makeover. I'm telling you, glory to God, you will be amazed. You'll be amazed at how you will live in abundance. You'll have more money than you need. God's definition of prosperity is found in 2 Corinthians chapter 9, verse 8. It says, and God is able to make all substance abound to you, that you may have everything you need and money left over to do all good works. That is is God's definition of abundance. I'm not talking about millions and billions of dollars. I'm talking about having more money than you need. And that's what God wants for you. And that's what I want for you. And I want you to live in health at the same time. You share this video with everybody you know. Call me if you did your offerings and your donations and your gifts and your tithe yesterday because I want to speak God's word for word blessing over you. I want God's blessing to flow into your life but it must be voice activated. It has to be voice activated because it was in the Bible. It was voice activated in the life of Abraham and all of his descendants become rich. I'm going to make sure it's voice activated in your life and you will live a life of abundance and good health.